Hey there, welcome to this new space. Um, sorry that it's a little bit bright, but this is my new office space. Just finished it, but there's one portion of it that I haven't done yet, and that is this. So you're seeing a lot of these in Instagram now, apparently in the decor world, and there is a window opening in your house. So my new space here, I put a window opening, I'm going to put a piece of glass, frame it up, make it kind of look like a window, and I'm going to attempt to do it using only scrap stuff. So that's what this video is going to be all about. All right, so I got my dimensions drawn out and uh, the inside frame of the window. I drew the layout for that and the wall is four and a half inches thick. So I'm just going to kind of go by uh, just trial and error and see. Um, this is going to be the outside diameter. I'm using three quarter inch wood all the way around, or at least that's the plan. So the inside will be a little smaller and the inside portion actually fits perfectly with this piece of glass that I have from a window. Um, it's got actually a nice aluminum frame so I'm going to keep that on there. I have to remove some of these little hinges on it. Um, however, it should turn out pretty good. We'll paint the aluminum with probably uh, white just to make it blend in. Uh, this frame is going to be painted white so I'm not too worried about a natural wood look. Uh, I'm going to go through my wood stash try to find some pieces of wood that will work for this. Alright, so after looking through all the wood, I found these really messed up 1x6s. And uh, they will work. Uh, they definitely have a lot of nails. And when I took this apart, this actually used to be the old frame of a doorway. Um, and I kept the boards. But it's got a lot of nastiness. It's got a lot of paint. It's a little bit wider than what I need and obviously it's longer so I'm going to be really strategic on where I cut the pieces out but I'm going to take all the nails out, try to clean it up, cut it to the width and the lengths and uh, just try to get four usable pieces out of this thing. I got all my pieces cut and I want to explain something so when I think what I'm going to do in these corners when the top piece comes in right here like so I got to do something to join the other piece into it but I really don't want to just butt them together so I think what I'm going to do just to give it some stability is actually have the side piece come up all the way as it normally should except I'm going to notch it like that. The other board I'm going to cut a little bit shorter than what I measured and it's going to actually set right here. And that will give me a nice little fitting here. I don't have a, a miter or butt ends. It's all going to be covered with trim but I do think that to me that will just be a little bit more stable. I can get it to stay square while I'm fabricating this thing up a lot better. All right, I got all of the boards notched now, and uh, with them notched, what I'm going to just do is air nail them and glue them together. Um, the frame is pretty much exactly the size it needs to be, with the exception of some trim that'll probably go on the outside, which is going to actually hide that kind of gnarly stuff. Um, but I think I pretty much got most of the nicest face of these boards done. So the thing I do want to do right before I go nailing all this is 
there are all these nail holes that are not going to look very pretty in the long run and they actually are going to be harder to probably get once I put the frame together so I'm just going to go around through all of them fill them up let them dry overnight and then I'll tack this the next morning Okay, so I um, got a couple of the boards primed now with some paint. I'm going to do a couple coats before assembling it, just a lot better. Um, but I did come up to find out, because I'm using a lot of old wood, um, I had a couple boards that were really, really messed up. So even though I filled these nail holes uh, last night, let them dry, I did not realize that some of this tear out on the uh, where the eyes are were just really, really bad. So I just put a bunch of wood filler same thing here it was a really really bad spot it's going to be visual I mean it's all getting painted so I don't really care about the look of all the putty but I got to let all that dry then I'll sand paint those two but we'll skip ahead to the next step I'm going to put another coat of primer on all the stuff uh, that way it's saving me a lot of time later uh, down the road when we go to put the window in just talk to my wife about it a little bit came up with a little bit of a better plan with what we're going to do with the glass with the frame with all the stuff so um, we're going to jump ahead probably to when I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff together. Okay, I wanted to share a real quick tip about this. So I've already put one coat on these and I went ahead and jumped ahead and did the other ones. But they're still a little rough. And just like when you are applying um, a nice finish to like a polyurethane finish, you want to sand it between coats. So sometimes with paint, and I don't do this all the time, but if it's still a little rough, I take a piece of really fine sandpaper, a flat piece of wood, and just go over it. I'm not trying to get the white off, but just knocking off all of those little parts. And then I'm gonna actually use a mini roller so it's got a nice look to it versus just a brush every time. All right, I got the frame all together, but the idea is to just set this guy down in there and take some measurements of where in the center it will fit. However, it does fit. <laughs> uh, here I thought it wasn't gonna fit. So I'm gonna try and find the center point, get my little strips of wood and tack it in place. So I've already cut a miter on this side here and so what I'm going to do is just that's going to be the lip the other piece will come in like nice and tight um, so I got to do the other side and the way I really like to do it is just kind of put my piece there go to the other side and then try to mark it rather than measuring that way I don't have to do a lot of guesswork Okay, that really didn't go 100% according to plan. Um, I ended up scratching up the corners right there and then over here and it's because it was just a little bit tight. I had plenty of space here in the middle, however it's because the wood was bowed so I had to pry the frame apart a little bit at these points to let it drop in and just tighten it back up so that sucker is pretty tight um, so I've kind of changed my mind. Uh, I put a really thick board in the back side because there was a little bit of a gap that was showing. Um, however, in the front here, because this is the nicer part, I think because this is really tight in here, I'm just going to put a really small corner piece of trim. Um, kind of actually toyed with the idea of just doing some silicone. And that might actually be good enough, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and put a little tiny piece of wood in there. Pin nail it in. Not use the. I'm not going to use the heavier nails and then um, try to put a coat of paint on that before I go putting it in the window. I'm 
moment of truth. Let's see if this thing fits in there. Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh man, it is snug as a bug. Ugh. I'm rubbing a little bit here on the top. And I can tell I got some drywall on the other side that I'm going to hit. So I might as well just pull it out. Doesn't look like it's anything too major. So I'll work at cleaning that up tomorrow. But uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and make up some of the mock up some of the trim pieces. It's just going to be pieces of uh, quarter inch thick wood that's maybe one inch, just enough to hide the edge of this three quarter inch wood and the edge of the drywall. So just, just barely. I don't want anything real big and, and, and that'll all be painted. Okay, so as you could tell, the window was a little tight getting in, and once I got it in and actually kind of forced it in, I realized I missed something that I was going to do. So on this window, we're going to put little faux panes in it. I'm going to put a lot, piece of wood right in the center, all the way on the lengthwise, and then we're going to split it into three sections. And it's a lot easier to do it before I get it up there, because I'm going to have to glue the wood onto the glass. And I had not looked for any wood, and so I'm going to end up having to use this stuff. It's actually for screen doors that you buy at Lowe's or Home Depot. Okay, so so with that being said, I'm going to have to uh, measure, cut, glue, paint, all that stuff just to get it in there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take some time doing that, um, breeze through it, get that painted. Uh, it's going to actually be painted black, and I'm going to paint some of the trim around the window black as well. The little bit of aluminum that was showing That'll be black, and then the pieces of wood that I actually pin nailed in, that will be black as well. Well, um, I accidentally kind of jumped ahead and forgot to record a little bit here, but as you can see, I painted all the boards black, and I actually glued them down to the glass using uh, this stuff. I actually tested it out on some glass a few days ago, and my goodness, this stuff really kept the uh, piece of wood, same wood, Kept it right on the glass, uh, very, very solid. So these are all glued in place. I ended up having to use my little square uh, to try to get these nice and uh, make sure that everything was this square. I have these two that could stick in there. Um, it's really tricky, but um, I'm gonna show you a little bit more of how I did that. This is gonna be duplicated on the other side. But right now I've taped off everything that needs to be black. I was gonna try to paint it by hand here. Just didn't work, I'm not steady enough for that. So I taped it off and all of this will be painted black. And then the same thing will be happening on the other side of it. Okay, so unfortunately I missed some more footage and um, I got this thing back in, painted everything up and the trim's on, it looks phenomenal. Uh, very happy with how it turned out. Uh, we did make some changes, obviously I ended up not painting the trim of the actual window white. We made it black so it kind of blended in and made it really look more like it was intentionally a black window within the white trim. Um, but it really turned out good. My wife really likes it, and right now, so do I. So, thank you for watching this video. If you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe if you have not already. But thank you for watching this one. I'll see you next time in my workshop.